Hey guys, Darcy here, and today we're going to talk about the basics of recording in Luna. Let's jump into it. All right, so we're in Luna here, and we got one track open, and let's talk about recording, just some of the basics here, okay? So we see here that we have uh, at the top our unison preamp, right? In this case, we have the API preamp pulled up, okay? When we record, whatever your settings are in your API preamp, these sounds, how you've gain staged it, whatever plugin you're using, if it's like a channel strip and you have EQ, whatever you've done in your UNC preamp would be recorded into the WAV file that would be there forever. As well, any record effects that we put on here would also be applied. So if I were to put like an LA-2A on here compressor, and then I were to, you know, throw up some pretty heavy compression that would be recorded into the sound. You can't turn that off. OK, and all of these things you'd also be hearing in your ears as you're recording it or the artist would be hearing it. So whether you do some roll off or you pad it, you gain it up, everything from with inside the unison preamp and the record effects are recorded into the saved audio file. Now, when you're recording the you know utility and the, and the tape, these are CPU based. So you're not going to hear them during the recording process since they're native to the computer. The reason being is because they would introduce latency since they would have to uh, run through the computer to be processed and back into your ears, they would create latency. And so therefore, if you are running accelerated real time monitoring, which is up here, this little global section where there's this toggle arm mode, if you turn it off, then you, you will be going through the computer. But if you want the real time monitoring, which is reason why most people end up getting the Apollos and whatnot, then you, these would not come into your ears with the console would actually, interestingly enough, and I talk about it in another video, link at the top, is that this would actually switch from using CPU to DSP resources. In other words, using your Apollo to play back. So you wouldn't record it to the audio file, but you would hear it in your ears. Then you have the rest of your inserts. These are all the other plugins. Anything in your inserts path would only be monitored, which means in your ears, but it would not print to the file. So as you see, the console, the first one here is an insert and any other plugins you put in here will also um, be included in terms of monitoring perspective, but they have to be actually a uh, Apollo or UAD based plugin. So something that would actually use DSP using your Apollo. If it is uh, an external plugin, an AU plugin, like a Waves or a Plugin Alliance or uh, just something that's not made by uh, Universal Audio, then it would use CPU. And I have another video coming out uh, on Wednesday that will actually go over how to toggle between turning off your arm and what that does for your external plugins. And then we would go into our sends. And I'm actually going to cover this later in an, another video talking about how the the arm, the accelerated real time monitoring actually affects other buses that the sound is being sent to for how that comes back into your ears and how you go about managing that. But in short, the most important thing here in summary is whatever is in your unison preamp and whatever is in your record effects, these are recorded to the file. You will not be able to take the settings off later. Everything else is just stuff you hear in your ears and you hear in your mixing, but they won't be printed to the file. So you can always make adjustments after the fact. Hope you found this basics helpful. If you did, let me know in the comments. And if you want to know something else, ask away. And I'll be glad to jump on that for you. Otherwise, have yourself a good day.